Um, last but not least, in an animated portion, Batman, um, Cape Crusader. They had a like five minute featurette with the um the producers, um, uh, Bruce Tim, uh, Matt Reeves, who's um directing the uh the Batman movie, um, which we'll talk about at the very end. Uh, yes. Ooh, I'm mad that I can't remember his name. It's a black guy <laughs> who's been working on Batman animated. Um, not Batman, but specifically DC animated content for a very long time. And he's responsible for, alongside Dwayne McDuffie, um, creating a lot of the best episodes of the Batman animated series and Batman. I mean, um, I keep saying Batman, just leave the animated series and just leave the limited cartoons. I'll have to look up his name and put it up, put it up on screen later. But it was those four people, it was, a, it was a fourth person whose name I can't remember. That, and they were talking about um, the Batman Kick Crusader and what they're trying to do with it. Um, Bruce Tim described it as more Batman the Animated Series than Batman the Animated Series because he essentially, and um, there's a great documentary on um, YouTube about this that again, I'll put the <laughs> title up on screen because I can't remember it, um, about the creation of the series. And I've discussed it on this podcast before where it was, um, it was the most mature cartoon on television at the time it came out in the early 90s. And even then it wasn't as mature as it could have been or as mature as Bruce Tim wanted it to be and everybody writing writing and you know drawing on the show wanted it to be. And the idea is that because we're in a time that we're in where cartoons are allowed to be more mature, he wants it to be, he wants this show to be everything um, that many in the series couldn't be because of the restrictions of the time period. Um, they said that there aren't gonna be any other superheroes in this universe, um, at least at the start, um, and that it's gonna be all Batman's early years. And that the, um, that uh, kind of like that black and white Batman um, short that they had a, a long time ago was actually part of their pitch for this um, this anime series. It was called Batman Strange Days. Um, I've actually seen it. I don't know if you have. Yeah, I've seen it several times. <laughs> um, I'm going to watch it again later. I literally went and put in my watch later earlier because I was like, I'm going to watch that again. If that's what the show is going to be like. Um, it's set in a, it's, it's set in a, sim a similar time period. Um, and as the... Batman anime series in like the 40, in like a 40s um, kind of a style world. But he said, despite that, they're gonna, you know, go out of their way to make it more modern in terms of in, in, um, inclusivity and representation, which is cool. So what do, you, what, do you, what do you think about what they said or, you know, what we heard so far? Uh, I sent you the announcement when it first initially got announced and you know I was excited from it for it since then. Uh, everything they said has made me pretty much more excited about it. Um, I actually had a theory about it when it was first announced and this didn't really dissuade it at all is that this would be like did you ever watch uh was it batman gotham knight the little animated movie where it was like a bunch of different shorts animated in different styles about like civilians uh and like their stories about batman no okay first of all you should watch it some of the shorts aren't really worth it but some are like really good like the first one where it's like a oh. skateboard or a skate park really good you should watch that but um my theory was it would be kind of like that because that is supposed to be set in the dark knight trilogy universe in nolan's universe that's what that's supposed to be or that's what that that's where that gotham knight is supposed to take place in um so my theory was that this would take place in matt reeves universe or like at least loosely based around matt reeves universe uh and it, that doesn't really like nothing they said really seems kind of like dissuade that especially because matt reese is now making that catwoman show and that gcpd show and yeah he's really kind of building out his own universe at least it seems that way so yeah no i'm, I'm very excited about that yeah they also mentioned how he'll um um partly because it's in his early years um much like in that animated short he'll be much more low tech which was um something me and you talked about episodes ago um, it would potentially being similar to that short in terms of the type of technology he uses and the gadgets he uses. But yeah, 